It's to be hoped that this England side will be suitably inspired, as England teams have in the past against Brazil. Clearly, it's not the one Terry Venables would have selected from the 37 players he's used so far, but it does have balance, with Graham Lasso now on the left side of midfield. Yes, it does give him, uh, I think, a better shape down that left flank. Stuart Pearce, the fullback, I'm sure, will be far happier than he was uh, last weekend when no one was in front of him. But I think the key to it will be uh, a big task for the other three back four players, Colin Cooper, John Scales, and Gary Neville, all, in fact, got their first caps during this particular tournament and a massive test for them against the Brazilians. Brazil make just one change from the side which played so delightfully against Japan at Goodison Park on Tuesday evening. Cesar Sampao, injured by Martin Darling's aggressive tackle at Villa Park in the match against uh, Sweden, returns in place of De Riva. Balance here is more individual than team. Total comfort with the ball. Total comfort, very exciting. They've got that freedom to push forward. The number six down the left, Roberto Carlos, has been particularly exciting. And that front triangle, Janino, Edmundo and Ronaldo. But I have to say, defensively, on crosses, they did look vulnerable uh, against the Japanese. And in goal, Zetti doesn't convince me at all. The Italians are in charge. The referee, Pier Luigi Peretto. His linesman, Renato Picchio and Domenico Ramicone. And the turn will have to stretch, and Willie had no chance of making it. This is Ronaldo. Made the gap. Oh! And had beaten Tim Flowers to the wide. Flowers did not know where on earth the ball was, and it came back off the post. Didn't hit it very hard, but the goalkeeper was certainly beaten by it. Through the legs of Scales. Throw from Neville. Oof. And Zetti worried by his own. And the anguished expression on the uh, face of Marcio Santos shows how close he was to putting that past his own goalkeeper. That's the good work in the way. Anderton taking the corner. Sheringham. Second chance, Sheringham. And they appeal for a penalty as he seemed to be denied the swing with his left. Anderton. It's another corner. Word about Teddy Sheringham, Trevor, because it seems to me that we're seeing for the first time Sheringham play as he would for Tottenham. I mean, he went for that first time. He didn't get it right, but in previous England games, he's hesitated. Stuart Pearce has come across to uh, change the angle. Scales up on the near side of the six-yard area. Three behind him. Or so to come from the back of the box. 18-yard box, that is. And here is Lasso! <laughs> He'd expect a few rounds on that, that's for sure. It was spectacularly cleared. Out to Lasso, hit it really beautifully with his left. His first goal for his country, and one he will remember for many a long day. That was a great strike, wasn't it? From the minute he left his boot, it always looked as if it was going in that top corner. Just the fingertips from Zetti, but not enough. Ronaldo, tricky footwork. Wasn't too happy, Tim Flowers, that he was given a bit of a haircut by Edmundo. The referee calming him down, but this was neatly done. And steered from the crowd. Had to be grabbed back. And Edmundo coming in, caught the goalkeeper. Yes, quite unnecessary. Terry Venables, looking back on it, might wish that he admitted that the performance against Japan was really very disappointing. Keep things in perspective. This is Zinho. Edmundo half crawling through, and Batty a little reluctant to make the challenge. 
little aware of the yellow card in the first half. And one wonders whether we're going to see another attempt by Roberto Carlos come into the side and fulfilling the role that Branco used to uh, fulfill. His vital goal against Holland. And remember, although Branco not as good a player as Leonardo, in my humble opinion. They lost a bit of balance when he disappeared. Roberto Carlos offering both skill, pace and shooting ability. We're about to see the latter. No, we're not. It's brilliantly taken by Juninho. Juninho has scored. Well, we were all fooled. Lovely goal. The only concern at the moment is that Shearer and Sharon are getting more and more isolated. Uh, you know, the responsibility of the midfield players to, to get goal side and work back against the Brazilians means England are getting deeper and deeper and unable to support. That's a good ball through. And the Ronaldo fed by Juninho puts Brazil in front. Pelé leading the applause. Lovely goal. And Juninho scored one, made one, just cut through the England defence and Ronaldo took his time. Substitution to be made. That's Giovanni. Out by Dunga. And it's in, but under his studs. A great bit of skill to turn the Brazilian defence. Having done that, uh, he almost should have been in. And here is Edmundo who might be in. He is. He liked it very much. moment when it might have been 2-2 it becomes 3-1 header put Cooper in trouble and Edmundo was quicker and finished again with style yeah the Stuart Pearce header then took it beyond Colin Cooper who's caught wrong side he'd come to cut out the original ball and once they get ahead in this situation look how clinical they are just keep it down so difficult through his legs into the net Could have been different, so different. Just at the other end, Darren Anderton having created an opening uh, and, and just then his control letting down could have then made it 2-2 and then within the space of 20 seconds it was 3-1. Here's Pierce. Here's Lasso. Shearer. Anderton. In comes Pierce. Punched out by Zetti from uh, Sheringham. Pierce! Off the crossbar. Shearer. Why? Real chances then for England not taken, and there we're looking at the unlucky man, Stuart Pearce, who started it down this left side. And with more fortune would have finished it. Punched by Zetti, which didn't look good. Flick there, off the bar with Zetti nowhere. And Dunga applauded by Pele first, as every other player is comes forward to receive the Umbro Cup from Jean Havelange, the president of FIFA. Another Brazilian success, and they were hoping to make it a third by winning the South American Championship. Uh, you can't be 100% pleased because of the fact that we haven't won the game. Um, but you, we've lost it to the best, best in the world. There's that positive, and also for a lot of the game, the majority of the game, I felt we were the better side until they scored and lifted, and then, and then they, they, they were very lively. But I still felt we could have dealt with it. Um, we were well worth our, our one nil uh, lead at the interval, but um, again, they give credit to them. They come out, and uh, I think they were a different side in the second half and moved the ball around a little bit better than we did, um, and probably deserved their win. Playing against Brazil. At, at Wembley in front of a full house and, and uh, is, is a great experience. So much can be learned from that from in, for individual players as well as the whole team. So I'm looking forward to you know, getting away, sitting down and looking back over this season and this game will be one of the highlights.